Red Bull team boss Christian Horner suggested that previously unknown damage had significantly compromised the RB20's performance, hindering Verstappen's ability to match Norris's pace and ultimately costing him a potential race win. But Max disagreed with Horner's suggestion, he did not feel any real impact from his car's floor damage. Verstappen said, it didn't feel different, so I don't know, maybe it was already damaged. I don't really know if there was damage. But Horner was adamant that Verstappen's altered floor had induced a performance drop. He lost two and a half tenths in turn one every lap. Is Red Bull blaming their Miami underwhelming performance on floor damage from a bollard and yet Max Verstappen says the pace remained the same even after hitting the bollard nothing changed. Who's saving face here? Verstappen initially attributed his relative underperformance to the same balance issues he had experienced throughout the weekend and to his general discomfort with Pirelli's hard compound tires. However, a post-race inspection of Verstappen's Red Bull uncovered damage to the car's floor, most likely caused by his earlier contact with the chicane curbs and a bollard incident on lap 22.